from Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Listen, fellas, I want more money. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. It's Likas 101, the ongoing on-air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly... We teach women how men think at 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's a simple question. Jeremy, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Father. How are you today? Doing okay. When do you plan to start speaking? Yeah. All right, what's that? I, I know your rule as far as uh, going out and what have you. Yes. But as far as uh, a booty call, would you ever spend any money on any booty call? Never. I mean, never. 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 You don't think that that might help uh, enhance the situation where she'd be more likely to be available? If she no, she'd, she'd be, be more like to... she'd be more likely to latch on to you or to think that there's some potential for a relationship. Just say no. But so, what do you think her motivation would be to continue on if you didn't? Because you know... you're giving her what uh, you're getting from her. I see. So you've never spent any money on the booty call? No. I'll tell no. you what, if, if if my presence in the sack isn't enough for a booty call, then she can dump me. Fine. Well, how do your how have your booty calls ended in the past? You just moved on, or have they told you, hey, you're out of here? Uh, it could go either way. Sometimes they have a boyfriend. Sometimes they get married. I Sometimes see. they get tired of it. Sometimes okay. they're too busy. So, Sometimes I find something more interesting, and I call the other person less and less. Okay, so this is one of your rules then, so maybe in the classroom you should emphasize that rule as well. Well, I've given that rule. I have said don't ever, but there's all kinds of rules for booty calls. Never let their face see the light of day. Never let them <laughs> see you in the light of day. Right. Uh, there's no staying over, no hugging, no squeezing, no lunches, no brunches. There's no, no movies, no spooning. Uh, you do not meet friends or family. You do not let her meet your friends or family. I see, and you, you don't spend any money on here either. No, flowers, no, no, nothing. no. That puts that puts her in the power position. Okay. Uh, the, an ideal booty call is one where you are both sexually satisfied, and that's what keeps both of you coming back. I see. Well, Father, can you take me out, uh, Kobe style, with a Kurt Warner after he won the Super Bowl at the end with a thank you, Jesus? Uh, yes, yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Ron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you today? I'm doing okay. Um, I called with one thing in mind, but just hearing these callers back to back is just getting hard to not want to comment on each and every one of them. Well, um, let's just get to your problem. No, nah, well, I don't have a problem, Tom. I actually am in strong agreement with you about the fact that if, in fact, you're seeing someone, they're already getting pressure from their family about when they're getting married, when they're going to have children. And when you show up for a holiday function... You have to know that those questions get even more significant. And then you become even more relevant to that female. Yeah, and, that, that's why you have to stay out of that altogether. Exactly. And, and, I, and I keep hearing these people say, Tom, I'm listening. Tom, I'm listening. They need to stop listening. They need to start hearing. Because all the listening in the world isn't saving them. And they keep doing the same stupid things time and time again. So they really need to hear you as opposed to actually listen to you. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, but one other thing I just wanted to mention, and, and that's in reference to the female that was married for all of a month now yeah. and already having issues, and the, and the other guy who thought his girl was perfect. When I lived in D.C., I used to refer to the beginning of a relationship as the interview stage. It's like when you go to get a job and you actually are applying for a job, you want to put your best foot forward. Once you get the job, that's when you start showing up late. That's when you start, you know, goofing off and on the right. Internet all day. Right. Well now, well, now that we're in Hollywood, now that we're in L.A., we're both in L.A., I call it the audition stage because they just want the part. 
So they don't even know that it fits what they want to do. Your goal as a one on one student, though, is to stay in the audition stage all the time. Exactly. Only be with chicks who are auditioning. Never give them the job. And never give them the part. Just let them keep let them keep auditioning. Let them keep auditioning, and just get new talent in. And, and right. Take take a look. Let let them actually come for the cast. Let new girls come for the casting call. That's exactly right. Thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, well Joey on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? <laughs> Hi Tom Likas. How are you? I'm okay. Uh, thank you for taking my call, Gray and Meyer. I've been listening to you for forever, pretty much since I've been like 16. Um, my question to you, um, I've been uh, seeing this person for about two years. Um, let me just get to the point. Um, right now I'm pretty much in a break or or situation that I'm just going to just forget this. Basically, uh, not so long ago, like around her birthday, she went out with a bunch of friends. And um, that's all, you know, fine, go ahead, go out. And then, surprise, surprise, the next morning, I found text messages of a guy. And the number that she basically, she gave out her number to this random guy. And, every, and I saw, like, a bunch of text messages, like, flirting, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. Why and, are you having a relationship with a single mother? What was that? Why are you having a relationship with a single mother? I, I have no idea. But What do you mean you have no idea? You did it! Uh... What is your opinion in regard to that? What is my opinion in regard to that? You don't date single mothers, period. Is it, like, what is the issue, though? Like, I don't understand. My what mom, is what? Like, mom was a single mother, that's all I'm asking. Why do you need to be with a single mother? Why? Yes, I've always, like, she gives me, like, that motherly comfort, I guess. Like, in, in some sort, it sounds kind of weird, but... That's what I figured out. Yeah. Oh, uh, are your parents alcoholics or something? Why? Why do you need that? No. Like, well, I only been raised with my mom. That's it. All right. Step one. Step two. Uh, is your mom an alcoholic or a drug addict? Oh, thank God. She's 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 been normal. Why normal. do you need to be mothered? I don't understand that. Grow up. Yeah. Well, yeah. I guess you grow are. up. Right. But, like, my main point here is that, um, like, and I, 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 let, I let that go. But I found another number again. What? I don't care about any of this stuff. You know what? Here's step two. Uh, whether she's a single mother or not, if she's getting chatted up by other guys and she's encouraging them to do it, get out! Stop being a little baby. You're a whiner. Right. Right. She okay. wants to be with whoever she wants to be with, and obviously you're not enough for her. Get the message and get out. I've, I've never actually caught her. Like, it's nothing. Yes, like... you have. You have seen her text messages. That's all you need. Out. It's not. It's not. It's Stop not... it. Hey, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Holy cow, Ace, give it up. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Eddie on the Tom Likas Show. Hey. hey, Tom, how's it going? It's going great. Going great. I just got to tell you, you and your listeners are dumber than a sack of rocks. Really? Yeah, well, right. let's let's review. You're out there making twenty eight thousand dollars a year putting oil in people's cars, and I'm down here at the radio station earning a seven figure income. Who's dumb? Okay, well, well, you're the well, the girls supposedly you're banging because I don't think they're banging you because of your looks. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done. I have my, you know, what you do, what you don't understand, dude, is that I've got money, power, and fame. You ain't got anybody okay. with money, okay. power, and you fame is money. getting late. Okay, you must have money. Anybody with money, Fire. power, Fire. and fame is Fire. getting laid. That's enough. It's like it's 101. We're not here to have arguments. We're here to give you the advice you need. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Tina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How are you? Great. 
Good. My, I don't really have a question. I have an observation. You made the statement earlier that our married dads had to put their sex life, and you said, of course not. But my observation is the reason you think that is because the only people who call into you are the people who It's not because of who, darling, 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 my whole life is not here in the studio. I have a life outside well, this maybe, radio program. Maybe, maybe you're just not getting callers that are married to the I'm right not women, talking about callers. Hello? I, I, you're not going to yell over me. What are we getting like this spate of yellers calling in? Listen to me. Now, you're probably going on and on, but you're on hold and nobody can hear you anyway. So let me speak very calmly to you and tell you this. Uh, my life goes beyond the hours I'm here in the studio. You know what? My life goes on 24 hours a day. I travel. I travel to Europe. I, I travel around the United States. I talk to lots of people. My opinion about this is not because I get callers who say certain things. It's because I meet people. I talk to people. I talk to the guys who are beaten dogs, the ones at Hooters, the ones at the ESPN zone. I've talked to guys at strip clubs, and they all look like beaten dogs, and they've all got that same thing in common, that when they got married, they had no idea what they were signing up for, and now they are reduced to going out and watching sports on TV and having a beer because at home they can't take it anymore. That is is what it's based on. It is not based on getting a few calls on a radio show. It is based on my lifetime of experience talking to men who are beaten dogs on and off the air. What about the women like me who still have been married a long time? That, no matter how long I've been married, I still want sex all the time. Darling, you know, uh, even a broken clock is right twice a day. The fact that you are like that does not mean that most women are. You know, well, as I always say, women. as I always say on this program, uh, and and it's absolutely true. We we talk about the guy who jumped out the 16-story window and lived. That doesn't mean everybody who jumps out a 16-story window lives. Most don't. Do you understand? Uh, well, could it be regional? Because no. maybe it's from the region I'm from. Because no. most of the married no. women and men that I know are happy with their safe lives. Well, they're just not telling you what's going on. Because if you're a man and you go to the places where men go to escape from their wives like Hooters and the ESPN Zone and any other sports bar, uh, they will tell you a very different story. Well, let me ask you this. If a guy was a single dad and a girl... And, was, and you know, by the way, if, ever, if everybody who's married is so happy with their sex lives, why are one in two marriages ending in divorce? I didn't say everybody, you but say, I'm saying there yeah, are a lot yeah, of people actually, who are. They're, they're, uh, by the way, at least half aren't. Well, what about like with your comment with single moms? You said nobody should ever date a single mom. Right. Would you say that in reverse to a sing Would you say never date a single dad? Uh, no, I mean, if you don't want to, don't. I'm not encouraging you to do it. But one thing about a man is that he can't become pregnant and he can't trap you. Well, okay. That's that, why. That may be true, but well, it's okay to get involved with a man with, quote, unquote, Is it baggage, okay? Well, it's, a, it's okay. I Personally, I wouldn't recommend getting involved with anyone with baggage. But don't you, everybody has baggage, whether it be emotional, no, financial, every, mental? Not, no, no. Children are a different kind of baggage. They are the baggage you cannot shed. They are the baggage that follow you around for the rest of your life. But there are the occasions where it actually ends up being a blessing. No, it is not. A, no, it is not a blessing for the man. It is a blessing for you. You got pregnant and you had a kid and you felt fulfilled. When a guy walks into your well, life maybe, and you got kids, there's nothing in it for him. No matter what he says, no matter what the net and the new guy says to get in your pants. Trust me, there's nothing in it for him, darling. Tom, Tom, Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likas Show. The show like is 101. I am your professor. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Robert on the Tom Likas show. Hello? Hello? Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. Um, I pretty much uh, think I already know the answer. Just want to get your expert advice. I was uh, dating my ex girlfriend for a little over a year. And then she got a new job, and she always wanted to go to this guy's house. She always do, like, little parties and stuff. And then one Saturday night, ends up dumping me out of nowhere. Then I find out that following Tuesday, so not even three days later, she was dating him, and they're still together. 
So I was just wondering, was she cheating on me before she dumped me? Why does it matter? Huh? Why does it matter? No, I'm just asking so that way I know uh, next time if this ever comes up again. But well, first of all, what, what are you doing with a girlfriend? Let's start with that. I don't know. I was young. Well, I'm still young. I'm only 21. She's 21. That's my point. Why do you have a girlfriend at such a young age? I don't know. I, I haven't started listening to you yet. All right. Why. So step one, there is no next time. Uh, you're not going to have a girlfriend from now on. Exactly. Okay. That's number one. All right. Now, number two. Let's talk about uh, whether she was cheating. Does it really matter? You know, at 21, that that's what people do. They, they're with lots of different people. I mean, on the one hand, they watch all these TV shows talking about people who are engaged, have baby bumps and all that stuff. But on the other hand, they bang everything that moves. Mm -hmm. I got uh, one more question for you as well, too. What's, what, uh, what's your uh, best of you could get to getting a girl in the sack quick? The best way to get a girl in the sack quick? Yes. Where, where are you meeting these chicks? Uh, just out, going out. Bars, clubs, stuff like that. Well, I mean, you, you use alcohol as much as possible. <laughs> You're laughing. All right. You, you use alcohol. Uh, you don't dance with them. You don't take them to expensive places. Yeah, you don't buy them flowers, candy. You don't take them out in limousines. None of that. Right. Perfect. All right. All right. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate it. Robert, thank you. Thank you. No problem. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Sarah on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. You forgot to tell them to slip a roofie in their drinks. Uh, no roofies are necessary. You can do this totally legally. I'm agreeing with you. Very true. Um, I do have a question for you. Yes. I'm a 34-year-old single mother of an 8-year-old. I left my ex-husband several years ago. I'm the kind of woman that even signed off on never getting a dime from him in spousal support. I, I agree with you 95% of the time on chumps, like the guy that called about the girl going out on her birthday, stuck on stupid. Right. I agree. Most women are complete idiots. My question to you, though, is I guess I usually have the guy's mentality in dating, and most guys can't handle the fact that I'm a single mother. I'm not out there trying to get anything from them, and you know, especially like expensive stuff. I don't expect that. My kid comes first. But they can't handle, I guess, my strength, my independence, and the fact I have a kid. My question to you is why do you tell most men not to date single mothers. Because if you get knocked up again, you'll ah. have, the, in most cases, you'll have the kid. Yeah, not necessarily true. Okay, I mean, I just wanted to hear that because I'm like, wow, my friends even turn to me for advice because I do kind of, like, have more balls than a vagina. But, but uh, darling, don't don't uh, flatter yourself. I mean, it has nothing to do with people being afraid of you or intimidated by you. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to date anybody where the kid comes first. Uh, the kid should come first. But uh, you know what? When I date somebody, I come first. And you know what? I don't like to date guys that have kids. Well, so then you should understand other guys. Uh, the guys that don't want to date anyone who has kids. It has nothing to do... Are you intimidated by guys with kids? Oh, hell no. Are you oh, intimidated no. by men's independence? Well, then no. why, why would you assume that men are intimidated because you have a kid? That's not why, why guys don't want to date you. Guys don't want to date you because they don't want to come second to some other guy's kid. Very, yeah. But, that's the, <laughs> that's the primary reason. You would usually they're all gung ho, and it's usually not even the kid. It's because they want too much of my time. And I'm not willing to give them that much time. I have a great career. So just tell them point blank, this is nothing but a booty call, right from the beginning. Okay. That's Say good. it. Good, man. That's good. This is just a booty call. That's all it's ever going to be. Okay. All right. I just, I, thank you for your for your observation. I was just curious on your, your not dating single women theory. I never said don't date single women. I mean, not single women. I'm sorry. I just got work. Single mothers. So that, that don't date single mothers. That has nothing to do with intimidation. Single women and single mothers don't intimidate me. I, you know what? Uh, <laughs> if I'm dating somebody, I want what I want when I want it. I, I agree with that. And most guys, I guess, 
they think that most women are looking for a new dad for their kid. Well, they're, or they're, they're either thinking that, or they're thinking you want money, or they're thinking you want to get married, or they're thinking you want to have uh, a sibling for the kid, or or they're just, uh, they know that you're not going to have any time for them, that the kid comes first. Yeah, and I don't want that doesn't to... mean they are intimidated. It just means they're going to go to the path of least resistance. Yeah. I just, I hear women calling and bashing you all the time, and I just think that they can't admit themselves that they're just, they're, they're idiots. Well, yes. I mean, believe me, I, they, they, single mothers have no problem, they, despite the fact that I recommend that guys not do it, single mothers have no problem finding booty calls. But you have to state up front that it is a booty call at your convenience. And if somebody's interested in that, you're interested in that. Yeah. Uh, all too often when people meet, they don't state what their intentions are or what their desires are. Yeah. They so, just think, think I'm going to call all the time. I'm not going to call no, but, yeah, but the point is you need to have that conversation Day one. Yeah. The minute uh, it looks like he might stick his tongue down your throat, you need to say, understand something, pal. <laughs> I'll never be more than a booty call to you, ever. <laughs> and you will not be the exception to the rule. There will not be any exceptions to the rule until my kid is 18 and beyond. Yeah. You have to say it like that. That I'm sorry. All right. And then, you. then you separate the wheat from the chaff. That's how you do it. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. You too. Appreciate the call. Tom loves like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likes Show. But sir, if you need advice on how to get laid <laughs> for less money, less energy expended, less time wasted. Or if you're a woman who wants to understand how men think, call me now. 1-800-5-800-TOM is our number. 1-800-5-800-866. Tim on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I have a question. Yeah. I have a girlfriend who uh, I've been going out with for almost a year now. And when I first met her, um, I was pretty much thinking to myself that I want to settle down and and be married and have kids and do the whole thing. And then, um, you know, it's been like 10 months now, and I'm just starting to think, you know, I, I don't think this is what I want. Uh -huh. I don't think I want to settle down. And I'm in a band also, and when I first met her, I decided that music was just going to be a hobby. And now it's become a little more than a hobby. I'm starting to get back into it. I play guitar in a band. Also, the sex is not as good as it was when it started, and that's why you were willing to give it up? <laughs> that's, Something that's, like that. I know that's the... I've been there. Brother, <laughs> I've been there. The sex was a lot better in the beginning, so much so you were ready to give up everything. And yeah. now the sex is down to maybe two or three times a week if you're lucky. Not even that. Not even that. Not as good as it was in the beginning? No. Right. And so and now you have a, you're, you're now re-energized about your uh, p playing music, and uh, now all of a sudden you think that uh, settling down is not such a good thing. It's all based on the fact that the sex was good in the beginning, and now it isn't so good anymore. That's, uh, that could be it. Yeah. But you see, <laughs> your decisions need to be based on what's good for you. And never based on how good sex is. In other words, if settling down is not good for you now, that should not change when you meet somebody. You need to make rules for you. You see what I'm saying? You need to make rules for you. If not settling down is what's right for you, then you need to stick to that. Yeah, it's just, you know, because, you know... you. Once you become 40, you think, okay, do I want kids and do I want to settle down? And Because, you know, once you start getting older, you, you start to think, you know, I don't want to be uh, 65 years old when my kid is 20. Well, if you really want to have kids. That, that's the problem. I don't know what I want. Well, then don't be doing things if you don't know what you want. Yeah. You know, because you know what? There's no pressing the rewind button. Once you have a kid, that's it. Yeah. Life yeah. changes. <laughs> life changes forever. Yeah, I know. And you know, it's it's even come to the point where I told her I want to break up, and we got in some big fights, and 
major fights to where you know I just wanted her to go and and I can't, she won't leave. She just won't leave. Wait, I mean, well, I she's living with you. She lives with me. That's the problem. Why did you do it. that? You see, that's that's always a bad move. That is a bad news. The, the problem was was when I first met her, she got kicked out of her place. She had nowhere to go after a couple months of going. That out. is always a bad way to start a relationship. Always, you got to remember that forever. Yeah, that is always a bad way to go. I, so I, she I moved into your. Let me understand. She moved into your place. Yes. And uh, you own your place. You rent it. What? It's an apartment that we rent, that I rent. I pay for the rent. Oh, and you pay for the rent. Why, why do you pay for the rent? Well, she does. She pitches in. No, 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 Why aren't you uh, paying equally? Originally, that's what I thought would happen, but she's not making enough money to make that happen. Well, then she needs to find a place to live. <laughs> yeah. By the way, when is your lease up? It's 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 done. I'm month to month now. So tell her you're finding a place to live. You want to? I just uh, I like my place. You know, I like the people there. I like everything. I've been there for three years. Fine. I've only been there well, for well, The point is, once you move out, she can't afford the apartment, right? Right. So tell her that if she doesn't move out, you're moving out. Yeah. And start circling ads in the. And the paper will start leaving Craigslist up on your computer and stuff like that. By the way, you want her to move out. Uh, do you have uh, cable TV there? Yes. Turn it off. Do you have internet yeah. service? Yeah. Terminate it. Because you're paying for those too, aren't you? Yeah. Take it I out. Am. You do it one at a time like Chinese water torture. Uh, but it, it's weird that you, you know, I came to the point, I even got her clothes in a suitcase and walked it down to her car and said, please leave, I don't want you in my life anymore. And, you know, and, but you see, you make it easy for her to stay by paying for everything. Yeah. Do you have electricity? Of course. Who pays for that? Hey, yeah. Whose name is on the bill? <laughs> Get a vacation hold on your electricity. So, I mean, are you saying to not have feelings and just to play hardball? Right. Just, uh, you want her out. You have to play hardball. Why won't she leave? Forget it. We can't get inside her head. You want her out. She won't go. Who cares why? But you provide her with a warm, comfortable, safe place to live. By the way, who goes to the supermarket? Guess where I'm at. <laughs> right. Who pays? I pay for most of it. She she pitches in. She spends about 500 a month on Target and things like that. No, no. I'm talking about groceries. Yeah. I'm buying majority of them, 90%. Forget of it. it. You're done. I mean, you see the fact that... Why won't she leave? You give her everything. She says she loves me and she wants to get married. I don't care what she wants. You don't want to get married. Right. You don't want to get married, do you? I'm confused. I don't know what now, I want. Da, 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 da. You said you don't. Yeah. Do I'm you? Sure. Do you or don't you? I, I'm really not sure. Why are you not sure? <laughs> I don't know. You it's, said uh, to me earlier that the sex isn't what it was. You're more right. interested in your music career again. You told me. Yeah. So did you forget you said that? No. So Not step it, step it up. You're right. You're right. Because that the, your chance in a music career is going to just gonna slip away and it's never coming back. Yeah, I know. And you're going to regret it the rest of your life. Do you want that? No. So you have to be a man, sack up, and start making it harder for her to live there. What do I tell her? Do I tell her I'm doing it intentionally? For yes. Someone? Yes. Tell her if she wants if she wants internet, she can call uh, the, the phone company and get it installed.
Tell her if she wants uh, if she wants cable TV. Look it up in the phone book. Call them up. Get it installed. Yeah. It really, it's like become a war now. And I would really didn't want it to go that far. Well, I've been it, with a lot of girls. She's and every time we've broken up, when I said I don't want to be together, it was always over. Now yeah. it's become like a hard ball. Because she's living in your house. I know. And you're paying for everything. You see, other times when you said it was over, it was over because the girl didn't have any leverage. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yes. You make sense? She is inside, like a computer virus. She's in there. And you make it easy for her to stay. Yeah. You have to get her out. And the way you get her out is to stop paying for everything. Do you have gas or electric uh, on your oven? Uh, electric. Electric. Okay. And do you have a hot water heater? Who pays for the hot water? Uh, hot water just in the apartment, whatever. I don't know how uh, it works. Do you pay for water? Uh, no, water's free. It's included in the apartment. What? So you're going to start turning off all the utilities, one at a time. Do you have a landline phone? Yes. Does she ever pick it up? Uh, oh, no, not really. Once in a blue moon. Well, just for me. Usually for me, though. Right. Does she make calls on it? No. She uses her cell phone a lot. Mm hmm. Who pays for that? <laughs> I do. I pay for everything. Why do you pay for her cell phone? No, no, I don't pay for her cell phone. I pay for my landline. Oh. So, uh, the, the bottom line here is turn off the utilities that she uses most. I'm sure she watches television because she's a chick. Turn it off. Internet, turn it off. If she still doesn't go, move up the line. Next, electricity, turn it off. I read in some places you can actually call the police and they can uh, remove the person from your place, but I don't want to go there. Well, you don't have to go there. You know, it's been 48 degrees recently in Los Angeles. You know what? No electricity, no heat. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to suffer, too. Do you have a buddy you could stay with for a couple of weeks till things blow over? <laughs> Step you could probably up. sleep at my parents' house. Do it! And on See top, right here's the other thing. On top of that, just tell her you're you're not paying next month's rent. You know, and I do have feelings for her. But... Stop it! <laughs> she just wants what she wants. She doesn't care what your feelings are. Yeah. You're just a sucker. That's why you quote unquote have feelings for her. You're just a sucker. Yeah. So stop I'm being a, a sucker. I'm a good hearted guy and uh but you know, I've been with a lot of women in my lifetime, so I know both sides. She's taking advantage of you. Undo it. Tom like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likus Show. Mike is 101 from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Okay. I'm your professor. <laughs> Omar, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, good evening, Tom. Good evening. I got, a, I got quite a big situation in my hands that I got myself into about a year ago. Stepping up. Um, well, I was with this girl for 10 years. We broke up. And two months later, I got married with another girl. Why, now, why, why was it so desperate that you got married? Why was that so important? <laughs> uh, because, I mean, she's pretty good looking, and, and uh, I was already... So why does the fact that a woman is good looking mean you have to marry her? You know, I've seen some pretty good looking cars. I never felt the need to buy them. <laughs> you can just look at it. You can sit in the front seat. I told her, you know what, I don't think we should get married because I just got out of a relationship with her for like 10 years. You, you sound like one of those guys who's constantly in a relationship. Well, Always. I, 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 I got I to gotta, I gotta 
you know, uh, a conscience that has to feel sorry for people. Well, then uh, you're you're gonna you're gonna be the guy people gotta feel sorry for when it's all well, over. Just to speed it up, she works, she makes good money, but I pay for everything. Mm, good work, Ace. I don't think it's good because I don't know how to get out of this relationship. Well, how, why did you get into it? Because she's hot. <laughs> She's hot, and yeah, she, I mean, I admit it, she, she cooks a good meal and washes my clothes. And so what? The place. You, know, you know how cheaply you could hire somebody to do that? And, I, and I, I went to, I went to, oh, by the way. doesn't belong to me. What? Yeah. That's not what you told Dean. That's not what you told Dean. That's not what you told Dean. Yeah, I told him that. No. Here's what you told Dean, that she has three kids. Yeah, two of them are in Mexico, and one that you're living with us. <laughs> she has three kids. Yeah, Didn't that, wasn't that a red flag for you? Well, she, she's still, uh, you know, supporting because she sends money to them out there. Right, and uh, here's the other thing you told Dean that you haven't told me, but I'm going to speed this process up. Uh, you told Dean that uh, she has three kids with three different fathers. I know. That's Oops. not a red flag for you. Too many miles, huh? Too many miles the odometer, and not only that, what do you think she's going to do with you? She's been doing it for a year already. Yeah, and and you're riding bareback, right? Uh, yeah. Good work, Ace. What, you want to have a kid, too, with her? No, hell no, man. Well, what do you think What do you think is going to happen when you're not using a condom? And don't tell me the pull-out method. I'm not using method. a condom. Yeah, and, and what birth control is she using? She has a lock. Yeah, what does she use? She has a lock down there. What do you mean a lock? Yeah, you know, she's fixed. She's fixed? Yeah. Do you know that well, for sure? That's why she got fixed, because she had, you know, three kids with three different guys. Well, she could have just started using birth control like a mature, r responsible adult. Man, she's too horny for that. She's too horny for birth control? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> All right, listen, pal. What is your question? Sure. What is your question? How do, how do I get out of this, man? I feel sorry for her. Get into, I mean, pal, man up. You need to live alone for a couple of years. Can you well, do I don't want to throw her in the street because, you know, it's, it's You have up. to live alone for a couple of years. Do you hear me? Yeah. You do not have to be in a relationship or living with someone all the time. And then I don't make enough money, and she's always whining and telling telling me things that what? I don't even buy her nothing. And well, why do you why, again? You, you why did you pick somebody like that? I didn't know she was like that, pal. So you I didn't know she was like that. This year. How long did you date her before you married her? Two months. Two months. That's why you didn't know the year. Zero tolerance policy. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Ace. The S word has not been approved for broadcast. And if you're that dumb that you don't know what words can't be used in polite company, go to myspace.com slash Tom Likas and see the list. Myspace.com slash T-O-M-L-E-Y-K-I-S. Jesus Christ. Linda on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hey. Um, long time listener. I disliked you for from the get go, but now I'm starting to see the light. And my question for you is that um, I've been married for twenty years. Uh, started the process. Twenty years. Yes. How old are you? Sixty. No. <laughs> Do I sound sixty? I'm asking. Twenty years. Yes, I got married young. How how old were you? Twenty. What do I tell people about getting married when they're twenty? I know, but you weren't around twenty years ago. Actually, I was. Where were you? <laughs> I was here in Los Angeles doing a radio show. Oh, I didn't. I I'm sorry. I was listening to someone else. I guess. Yeah, and that'll teach you. Anyways, um, long story short, I have three kids. Um, I found out that my husband was doing something on the internet and blah blah blah, and you know what was he doing? Up, what was he doing? He's talking to women and receiving pornographic stuff, and you know I no. trusted him. How I was your sex? Him. How was your sex life, honestly? Before it was you good. Out? How good? I mean, how often was it good? Once a week? Once a week. Well, once a week is no one. Jesus. 
You're out! Zero tolerance policy. Also the S word. Jeez. Jordan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Father? How's it hanging? Hanging right as always. Uh, nice to hear. Nice to hear. So I have a, quite an interesting situation, and I wish I would have been the light. Oh, well, interesting usually means lengthy, and I'm just going to tell you that I've got less than two minutes left. Oh, so. I know. I know how to sum it up quickly. Don't worry. Um, pretty much, I met a girl, and word to your students: don't believe women when they tell you they're on the pill. Um, got pregnant within a couple weeks. Shortly before, she wanted to have an abortion. I'm against it. I convinced her open adoption was better. Oh, boy. I know. I know. Unfortunately, right before he was supposed to be born, even after we told the family that they could have him, she realized I wasn't going to marry her because I told her I just wanted to be friends the whole time. Decided to move up to Alaska to live with her mom and her grandma and now yeah. won't let me have anything to do you, with the child. You, you put yourself in the toilet there. Uh, all you need to do is give, give it a good swift flush. I know, but I feel responsible for, to the child for him. He does yeah. need a father. I, I so. hope you enjoy. Your life is going to be spent on attorney fees, airplane tickets, uh, your pay being garnished. Uh, further attorney's fees, yelling and screaming on the telephone. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Well, that's just it. Is she won't even give me a paternity test until I get a court order because she doesn't you want it, me to have anything to do with the child. Well, there you go. So, so you know what you have to do. All right. Well, I appreciate the advice. Oh, you didn't think there was another way out, did you? Well, I was just wondering if you knew of any loophole where I could keep it in California. What you think I'm an attorney? No, but I'm sure you've seen a lot of people go through this. Uh, no, honestly, um, I, I don't have children. I have been through this. You need to hire a good attorney. Roger that. Tomorrow. I will. Keep good, good luck. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.